This video is sponsored by Squarespace. This is the story of my first mural in the Netherlands. And it's a big one at that. The story actually started four years ago. In 2019, a mural festival called Pow Wow Rotterdam reached out to me. They wanted me to be a part of their epic roster of muralists for their 2020 festival. I was hyped because Pow Wow has a lot of prestige in the mural world and being a part of their festival is something I've wanted to do in my art career for a long time. Hell yeah, I'm in. 2020 is gonna be sick. But then, 2020 actually happened. Coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. Thousands across the US could die. No mural fests, no travel. It was all canceled. Then 2021 came. Sorry, Peter. No international artists, locals only. It's too risky. Dang it. Then finally, in 2022, it was safe enough for me to come out to the Netherlands to paint. We are on our way to the Netherlands. Rotterdam. But by this time, Pow Wow Rotterdam had changed their name to all caps. I know, pretty sick name, right? So this is the story of me creating one of the largest murals I've ever made and my first mural in the Netherlands. Stick around is gonna be a good one. We are here at the all caps HQ. This is a thing of beauty. Look at all these amazing colors. You know what's crazy? I ordered all this paint before I even did my concept art. Dude, you got a whole art supply store in here. Every other mural festival, it's like the lift isn't ready, the paint isn't here yet, somebody stole your paint, and then I look, come here. It's just like, Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so I took a quick look at my paint. Now we're gonna go and look at my wall. I haven't used one of the big platform ones before. I always use the hydraulic boom one that can go anywhere in space. I'm excited about this because I can put so many freaking paint cans up there. I'm gonna fill all this up with cans. I'll just be like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're about to head off to this Skylift training. I've done dozens of murals, never had to be registered. Don't tell OSHA, but for the first time in Netherlands, I will be a registered lift driver after today. Nick, you gonna get in on this training? You already know. <laughs> I'm already forklift certified. We have officially made it to the Skylift training. Let the boringness commence. an elite class right here. We got some world-class muralists in this Skylift training class. And then there's me. <laughs> okay, teacher's gone, let's party. <laughs> Woo! You could miss a total of six questions before you fail. We took a test this morning completely blind without learning anything. I got 27 out of 30. We took it again at the end and I got 30 out of 30, which means I passed. It would have really sucked to come all the way to Netherlands and then fail this quiz and not be able to actually paint my mural. So that's good. We're doing the driving practical portion next. We're gonna actually be like using the lifts and I just gotta pass that and then we're good to go. All right, we just finished our test. Now we're gonna go get that certificate, so we're legal. Good morning. It is officially day one at All Caps Mural Festival. I'm gonna try and do a tape grid this time. Usually I do a doodle grid. I'm gonna take the idea of a doodle grid, which is scribble all over the wall and superimpose my art on it and do it with little bits of painter tape and use that as my grid. So when I'm done, I can just peel it away instead of having to erase it or paint over it. I've never tried it before. Hopefully it's gonna work. All right, I think we just finished the tape wall. And I think we gotta move this lift to the other side of the courtyard so we can get a nice straight on picture of this wall. Since this is basically a doodle grid. Wait, I thought this was the mural. We're not done. <laughs> we only have like one hour left to work today because evidently there's a surprise for us artists of all caps. All right, problem. In the photo, I can literally not see the yellow at all. So like basically more than 30% of the grid is just gone. Also, the yellow is already starting to peel. So we have to stop now, which is also a huge bummer because it's supposed to start raining tomorrow. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bummed out right now that this whole grid is not really working the way I wanted it to. Sketching is my least favorite part every time. I hate doing the sketching part. <laughs> Freaking sketching, man. Freaking sketching every time. Yeah, we just got massive amounts of work done today. I mean, the mural's almost done at this point. Don't, don't, don't look at that. Don't edit, edit in some finished footage. All right, it's time to find out what this epic all cap surprise is. Surprise! <laughs> that actually kind of scared me. Okay, so we are walking to an unknown destination. The surprise has yet to be revealed. We are now crossing this epic bridge. <laughs> That's not the surprise, is it? Oh my god, we're going down towards the water. What's going on? Are we gonna ride this thing? Heck yeah, boat tour. This is gonna be so sick. Gotta sign a waiver. It's so crazy. They have high speed written all over a lot of stuff here. <laughs> the 
this ain't your grandpa's boat tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tour guy just told us we were going 100 kilometers an hour. That was insane. Then we got onto a much slower boat and had a nice party with all the artists. Much more my speed. Good morning. Hey. So yesterday at the end of the day, we were having issues with the tape grid, but we have this, my art superimposed over it. So I figure why not take this and use it to make an incredibly precise doodle grid. It's only within the boundaries of the art. Time to get painting, Rotterdam, here we go. Using a tape grid to make an ultra accurate doodle grid might be my new method of starting murals. Okay, so took a photo with my nice camera this time. Now I am putting the concept art over the photo and I really think this is gonna just work so much better. This five second painting montage represents eight hours of sketching. Sheesh. I think this is gonna be a banger mural if I don't mess it up. Here? Okay, cool. Or here? That works so much better than I was expecting. <laughs> Sick. Thank really well. You. That looks so cool. Day three. This green bandana was pretty tricky because I really wanted to put kind of a pattern on this fabric. Let's see how it looks from the ground. And boom. Ooh, that looks good. God, I love murals this size because if you have a little bit of jank up there from the ground, it's like, oh, it looks all good. That is some thick boy paint right there. Strawberry icing. I want to eat it. I know, it looks delicious. <laughs> Just dunk her in there. There you go. And then use the wall to like, there we go, baby. Quite the turn of events. I was up there painting and then all of a sudden my lift starts coming down without me touching anything. And I'm like, who is messing with my lift? I was pissed off for a second. I looked down and Smo's like, hi ho Smo's over here. Hello, friends and followers. Hello, friends and followers. Hello, friends and followers. Hello, friends and followers. I will do it, of course. Yes. Hello, friends and followers. Hello, friends and followers. <laughs> <laughs> He's just, you know, quickly crossed an international border to come say what's up. But it was just three hours of drive, so it's okay. So these guys are gonna work on the stripy shirt, which is kind of awesome because it's difficult but boring. So I'm just gonna let them do that. That's how you paint a mural, ladies and gentlemen. Smo, how do you feel about lowering your standards to work on a 1000 mural? Uh, yeah, it's easy. <laughs> it's easy. It's like painting um, in the fill-in color books for children. Yeah. It's just we got okay, all so the my art is for Okay, so my art is for children, I see, I see. Yeah, it's friendly and um, <laughs> it's easy. Thank you so much for coming. It's so crazy to have a, a little audience at the mural. But for us, it's crazy to see you. We can like, see it yeah. in real life happen. Yeah. That's so awesome. Thank you guys for freaking watching my videos and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yo, end of day three, feeling good. Look at my beautiful lady behind me. Now we get to have fun, we get to hang out. This was such a crazy, unexpected surprise. Thank you, bro. And thank you, Nick. Yeah. Oh, all right. Day three, we out. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Riding bikes to the wall. Riding bikes to the wall. I'm an artist, so I draw. I'm a pain until I fall. Hot damn, pain in the Netherlands. What's up, brother? Damn, I just drank 100 cans. Spray it, spray it, spray it, I don't say it, I just paint it, I just made it, mom, I'm famous, I got haters, I'm their favorite, leave a comment in the light, please, keep the chrome magenta on the cover, bonus right sleeve. After two full days of the lift being parked in that one spot, we moved it down like six feet. Character one is nearly done. On either side of my design, I have these like moon waves that I call them going, and it's like a white background with black lines. Nick, you ready to roll? Let's roll, baby. We only have one clean little roller sponge thingy so it looks like Nick is on roller duty Whew. sometimes it sure is nice to have an assistant I'll tell you what look at that precision it's hugging the line tight ladies and gentlemen Ooh, that white is so much more white than the white that was white before <laughs> one of the other artists came and turned this sculpture thingy into a Cyclops bunny he thinks he's got the new techniques going up bike right in Woohoo! Let's get this lift down and go ahead and see what's going on for today. Good morning, Clucky McDoodle. Just checking in with our team mascot. Oh, Clucky, top of the morning to you. Bucket. 
He goes in for the morning. Turn it, turn it on, bring it down. Now it is time to work on these moon waves. I got my black can of spray paint and I'm just gonna be doing hella lines. Speaking of lines, you should be on online. Like, like having a website. And that's why today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're an artist or you got a passion or you got a side hustle, you deserve to have a beautiful website. And with Squarespace, it's super easy to make one. All you gotta do is take your awesome content, drop it into their saucy, swanky templates, and boom, you got a website. You do not need to know how to code. You do not need to know HTML. It's just easy. I've been using Squarespace for years and years. It's how I built my website. They got pretty much every feature you would want. They just look good and they're super easy. I said that already but they're really freaking easy. But if you do run into any issues, they have 24 seven customer support. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to have a beautiful website. Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Squarespace. All right, the end of day something I have no idea here's a graphic day this got another character going two out of three ain't bad just got one more character to go hopefully we don't get rained out tomorrow good morning sleepyheads man it is rainy today already here in thunder this morning not our day it looks super wet out there dang son okay made it on the bike ride here so far no rain it's gonna get painting our lift was desperately close to dying and all we have is this like non-construction grade power thing so we wrapped it in this but i do see a little blinking light right there which means this might have actually charged this time we were at like 18 percent if we went one more day i would have got us stuck up there so yeah let's go come on let's go pep in your step let's go the whole bottom of my lift is just a soggy sponge my shoes have been wet for like four days because it rains every night here yuck freaking slippery yuck yo completely forgot my mask huge mistake ah just gonna paint through it i guess messing up this morning Major moment, about to start the third character, finally. stopping to say hello to fans so crazy to have so many fans coming by in the Netherlands I mean who would have thought hosting videos about my strange little pictures on the internet would make it so that if I traveled to somewhere thousands of miles from my house I would have people coming up saying hello wanting to take pictures with me and stuff like YouTube is a trip man I never would have imagined how cool is that Just about to start on the last face, on the last character. Super excited to finally have this guy reveal himself. We got a cool audience here. Say hi, guys. Hi. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, ye Dutch gods of rain, I am but a humble artist coming to you today to request one more day of no rain. You've blessed us so much, Dutch gods of rain. We just asked for one more day so I might finish this mural. Last night I saw that uh, 10 hundred was uh, going to uh, Rotterdam, so I had to be here. I even got like a little souvenir. He's an awesome guy, awesome painting. Glad to be here. Really cool. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm up here painting this fire and I'm just whoosh, whoosh. It's all this movement. I feel like Harry Potter in his freaking wizarding school with like Wingardium Leviosa. And flip and swish. Swish and flick. <laughs> and this, how you paint fire, I think. I've never painted fire before. About to dislocate a shoulder or something. Swishing too hard. Ten Hundred is really a legend. He gives off so much positive energy only with colors and with his art. I really like Ten Hundred's art. It's so vibrant with colors and it's just so positive. It gives you such happy vibes.
So the rain gods of Netherlands have been just sprinkling on us a little bit just to show us they have the power. Almighty rain gods, you have the power. Just leave it at the sprinkle. I know you could do more. Just work with me, rain gods, please. Editor Nick update here. It's uh, raining cats and dogs. Peter is still up there painting currently. Still painting up there. This is the current camera situation. It's under my raincoat, so try and keep it dry. to paint the final portion of the moon waves over here, which means about an hour and a half of just <laughs> black lines. Here oh, we go. dude, it's line time. It's line time. I thought of that myself. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think I've done it. I think I've done it. And now you know what time it is. It's time to show you guys the final sexy Oh my goodness, oh my damn, oh my goodness, rot a damn. Finally finished the mural. I'm super hyped on how it came out. The community seems to really be enjoying it. Thank you so much to all cats for having me out here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already for more awesome art and murals and crazy stuff like this. And a huge gigantic thank you to my patrons. You guys are the coolest people on the internet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm 1000. This has been All Caps in Rotterdam. I'm out. Peace. I'm gonna miss you, rusty busted headlamp. I'm gonna miss you, super uncomfortable seat. I'm gonna miss you, bungee cords that are far too loose to hold anything useful. I'm gonna miss you, tires that leak air. You've held me down, oh bikey. I salute you.